Chapter 2 The next day, under a pewter-colored sky, Lily is playing with the Bingham girls in front of Chad and Donna Bingham's tent, when a grinding noise echoes over the trees along the adjacent dirt access road. The sound stiffens half the settlers in the area, faces snapping toward the noise of an approaching engine which is groaning through its low gears. It could be anyone. Word has spread across the plagued land of thugs pillaging the living, bands of heavily armed rovers stripping survivors of everything, including the shoes on their feet. Several of the settlers' vehicles are currently out on scavenging reconnaissance, but you never know. Lily looks up from the girl's hopscotch court. The squares have been etched in a little bare patch of brick-red clay with a stick, and the Bingham girls all freeze in mid-skip. The oldest girl, Sarah, shoots a glance at the road. A skinny tomboy in a faded denim jumper and down vest with big inquisitive blue eyes. Fifteen-year-old Sarah, the whip-smart ringleader of the four sisters, softly utters, Is that? It's okay, sweetie, Lily says. Pretty sure it's one of ours. The three younger sisters start craning their necks, looking for their mom. Donna Bingham is presently out of view, washing clothes in a galvanized tin drum out behind the family's large camping tent, which Chad Bingham lovingly erected four days ago, equipping it with aluminum cots, racks of coolers, vent stacks, and a battery-operated DVD player with a library of children's fare such as The Little Mermaid and Toy Story 2. The sound of Donna Bingham's shuffling footsteps can be heard coming around the tent as Lily gathers up the children. Sarah, get Ruthie, Lily says calmly yet firmly as the engine noises close the distance the vapor of burning oil rising above the tree line. Lily rises to her feet and quickly moves over to the twins. Nine-year-old Mary and Lydia are identical cherubs in matching peacoats and flax and pigtails. Lily herds the little ones toward the tent flap, while Sarah scoops up the seven-year-old Ruthie, an adorable little elf with Shirley Temple curls hanging over the collar of her miniature ski jacket. Donna Bingham appears around the side of the tent, just as Lily is ushering the twins into the enclosure. What's going on? The mousy woman in the canvas jacket looks as though a stiff wind might blow her over. Who is it? Is it Rovers? Is it a stranger? Nothing to worry about, Lily tells her, holding the tent flap open as the four girls file into the shadows. In the five days since the contingent of settlers arrived here, Lily has become the de facto babysitter, watching over various groups of offspring while parents go out scavenging or go on walks or just grab some alone time. She's happy for the welcome distraction, especially now that the babysitting can provide an excuse to avoid all contact with Josh Lee Hamilton.